We've had uh, three really great weeks of training since Sun Dodger. We've got a pretty experienced team uh, returning, and so our focus is always on running as well as we can at the end of the, the season. You don't win anything by winning the Sun Dodger Invitational or even the meet we're going to this weekend. It's all about GNAC regionals and nationals, and we feel like we're in a pretty good position right now to uh, hit the championship fee phase, but we're really excited to see what we can do this weekend. And, uh, Dallas was telling us uh, you haven't utilized uh, Joyce Shalimo yet? Uh, is that something that will take place this weekend, or are you going to hold her out again? <laughs> uh, as of right now, Joyce is uh, racing this weekend. She ran a good workout today. She's had a bunch of good weeks of training, and so uh, we're a little bit of a different team with uh, Joyce in there, so it'll be fun to see what uh, our group's able to do with her there. Was she injured or just uh, resting up? Or? She was just training. So. so what do you gain from a meet like this where you see Bunch of, yeah, you guys go, go around a lot and see some, a lot of Division II competition, a lot of D1 competition in some cases. Uh, so to see all the GNAC schools or many of them, what do you gain from this? Uh, this is the course where we're going to run our conference championship. The women run the same 6K course both times. The men run a 10K course this time, which is what the distance we run at our national meet and regional meet. Uh, GNAC we run at the same place, but uh, an 8K instead. But uh, just getting used to the atmosphere, getting used to... Uh, all the specifics you have to take care of, getting out hard and, and running hard. It, it's, a, it's a pretty good test that we've been doing the last few years and had good success with it, so why mess with what's been working? Um, it feels pretty good. We, we're pretty familiar with this course since we ran it twice last year doing the same Western Classic invite, and then GNAX was also at the same course last year, so we're very familiar with it. Um, we're going to have a lot of confidence, but we also have a lot to prove still, so we're excited to have that opportunity. Every athlete, I'm sure, kind of envisions where they fit into this team concept and whatnot. So, uh, where do you see yourself fitting in this weekend? Um, personally, uh, you know, I'll stay with the top group as long as I can, but um, I'm really focused on how the team's going to do as a whole because that's what wins you uh, meets and that's what gets you to nationals and that's what gets you trophies. And so, if my teammates are up with me um, and if I'm up with, uh, you know, Michael Ramirez and Edwin, then we got nothing to worry about mentioned the team as a whole and you know your estimation how good has this team looked since the start of the year um, we've made a lot of improvements and like I said we have a lot to show still um, I think that uh, we we might have regressed a little bit in the last meet but you know this isn't championship season yet we made a lot of gains these last few weeks and so I think um, we'll be ready and I think our teammates are ready when you have several weeks between races I mean what are some of the things that you do as a group to Stay fit. I mean, without the the you know the fruit hanging from the branch there. Hey, we have a race coming up. What do you do uh, to kind of stay in shape and uh, in, in sort of a race mode, mentally at least? Um, you have good workouts. I think that these past few weeks we've had very good workouts. It kind of makes you stay hungry when you see your teammates running fast. And I think that um, when you, in terms of recovery, doing the long runs, doing all the right stuff, getting lots of sleep, um, and so. Yeah, the workouts have really helped make us hungry, and seeing, seeing ourselves drop a bit in the polls have also made us hungry for racing, so we'll be ready.